بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ان دا آن لائن کلاسز آف اسمائلی یوتھ سروسز اینڈ آئی ایم یور ٹیچر بفور اسٹارٹنگ دا لیکچر فرسٹ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو اباؤٹ دا انسٹرکشنز وچ آر ویری ہیلپ فل فار یو فار ٹیکنگ دا آن لائن کلاس سو دا انسٹرکشنز آر ڈونٹ ریز ہینڈ ڈیورنگ ٹیچنگ ایز کوشچنس ایٹ دا اینڈ آف دا ٹیچنگ یوز ہینڈ فری ایف یو آر یوزنگ موبائل اینڈ ہیڈ فون فار کمپیوٹر یوز Feed your ID and password with your name and class. Take care of time for attending the class. Ask questions and you should have to done your homework in your fair copy of the subject. If there is any disconnectivity during the teaching, try to join again within 5 to 10 minutes. Now moving on to the chapter and our today's objectives are By the end of the lesson, students will be able to define the term input devices, list the names of input devices and also write the use of them. Explain barcode reader, magnetic ink corrector reader, optical corrector readers, optical mark readers, card reader, smart card. Define output devices as well, list the names of output devices and also write the use of them. And explain liquid crystal display which is also called LCD projector and braille printer and plotter as well. So, moving on to the first topic, the first topic is the input devices. This is your chapter number one and these are the remaining topics which are remain in the previous uh, class. So, we will continue this class with the previous or uh, with the new topics which are remaining in chapter number one computer system. So, The first topic is input devices and input is a data that a computer receives and in output is that a computer sends. Computer only work with digital information any input that a computer receives must be digitized often data has to be converted back to an analog format when it's output. For example, the sound from our computer's speaker means that whenever we are putting any of the information into the computer in the form of audio, so it will give the result with the help of the speakers that we plug in with the our system. Or many times we are writing or uh, anything from the help of the Uh, keyboard so keyboard is also an input device which is give the give uh, which is used to give the instruction to the computer as well now moving on to the first device which is a barcode reader means that right now we are talking about the input devices and the first input device is a barcode reader in your book so this is the picture of a barcode i think so this type of barcode you have uh, seen in the shopping malls in the different type of uh, super stores so whenever we are purchasing any of uh, these type of uh, products from the super store or the supermarket so they have these type of barcodes and they have these type of barcode reader machines which are helpful to read that type of particular codes and then it will shows you the information which is hidden in that codes now A barcode reader is also called a price scanner or a point of sale. POS we also called a scanner is a handheld or stationary input device used to capture and read information contained in a barcode. Means that uh, I told you before in the lecture that whenever we are purchasing something from the store, so they have a black color code bar which are present on that particular sticker and they they will read that uh, particular barcodes with the help of card readers or barcode readers a barcode reader consists of a scanner a, uh, a decoder a, de a decoder either built in and or external and a cable used to connect the reader with a computer because a barcode reader merely capture and translates the barcodes into the number and or letters the data must be sent to a computer so that a software application can make sense of the data barcode scanner can be connected to a computer through a serial port keyboard port or an interface device called a wedge A barcode reader works by directing a beam of light across the barcode means that uh, these type of I show you the picture these type of barcodes and this barcode reader having the light beam and with the help of the light beam uh, it's measured the amount of light that is reflected back 
the dark bar on our barcode reflects less light than the white spaces between them. The scanner converts the light energy into electrical energy, which is the converted into data by decode, uh, decoders and forwarded to a computer. Okay, now moving on to the next one topic and this is also an input device the magnetic ink character reader this is the magnetic ink character reader picture uh, these type of magnetic ink character reader or recognition are used in the banks most of the time and they are helpful to read the checks and on the checks if you observe that this is the picture of a check and you observe that uh, in under this check there is some type of codes written over there and these type of codes that are read by the help of magnetic ink character reader magnetic ink character recognition micr the short form is micr is a technology used primarily to identify and process checks the micr magnetic ink character read recognition on a check is the string of character that appears at the bottom left of the check it consists of three groups of numbers including the bank routine uh, routing number the account number and the check number okay uh, it is called a magnetic ink character recognition line in reference to the print technology that is used to enable a machine to read, process and record information. Okay, this is then... Uh, this is the picture of a check, a common check which are using in the banks. If you observe that this type of code, this type of codes this is written like uh, double zero two four double triple zero like this so this these type of codes are written and these are read by the help of micr magnetic ink character recognition okay now optical character recognition or the optical character reader ocr is the electronic or mechanical converse conversion of image of typed handwritten or printed text into machine encoded text whether from a scanned document a photo of a document a scene photo for example the text or a signs and billboards in a landscape photo or from subtitle text superimposed on an image for example a television broadcast this is the optical character recognition or optical character reader it is also same like a barcode reader. It's also having a cord and a simple smaller device which is used uh, with the help of the reflection of light. Whenever the light beams are touching that type of codes, then they will uh, quickly read that and then it is goes into the system and it will just recognize all the codes which are coded on that particular paper or sheet. Now, optical mark reader this is the picture of optical mark reader this is also called an input device because of this we insert some type of papers into it the coded papers and then will they they will decode it that uh, information which are written or coded on that paper optical mark recognition also called a optical mark reading or omr OMR is the short form when uh, is the process of capturing human mark data from document form means that in the universities in the different places they, they are using that uh, type of machines uh, on which we are giving uh, the exams in the form of objective uh, objectives or in the form of MCQs and these type of MCQs are not checked by the common persons or teachers like that uh, or the hand checking is not uh, required for these type of papers they just put these type of papers or coded um, information into the optical mark recognition and then it will then it will shows you the information which you required from that paper or the test they are used to read questionnaires multiple choice examination paper i just told you about it that
that the mcqs in the form of shaded areas means that you can simply shade it that uh, um, circular area which question or which option that you want to select it then you just shade that part and after the shading of that part it will goes into the optical mark recognition or omcr and it will scan that uh, shaded point and then it will gives you the correct answer that it will be right or wrong many traditional omr devices work with a dedicated scanner device that shines a beam of light on the form paper the con uh, contrasting reflectivity at predetermined positions on a page is then used to detect these marked areas because they reflect less light than the blank area of the page means that on uh, if there is a page and it's having some blank areas as well and uh, there is a shaded parts so the beam of light are much more reflected on the shaded part as compared to the blank area of the paper and then it will decode that information which you required from the test paper now moving on to the card reader card reader are the very common ones we are using nowadays as well for the card reading means that uh, on the common mobile shops you can easily purchase that card readers and they will read your memory card memory cards means that nowadays you are using the memory cards in your cell phones as well so if you don't have your cell phone and you are not putting that uh, sd card or you the common name is sd card or you are saying that uh, memory card so if you want to read that memory card so you just uh, easily purchase a small device which is called a card reader and then you can put your uh, memory card or sd card into that card reader and it will easily read or give the information and you how can you read that information on the by the help of card reader you can just place that memory card into the computer system and then put your memory card into that reader and it will read all the information that you required and it will display on the computer screen okay this is a description of card reader a card reader is a data input device this is the data input device cause that all the data present into it when you connected it with the computer then it will give all the input of that data into your computer that reads data from a card shaped storage medium the first were punch card readers means that in the previous times they are the punch card reader in the first generation of computer they will develop dr herman holrith uh, he developed uh, a card matching machine which read the paper or cardboard punch card that were used during the first several decades of the computer i just told you about in the first generation in the early ages of the computer uh, they are developing the punch card machines but nowadays it will change the tech, uh, it will be a change in a technology day by day so uh, we have the card readers as well so modern card readers are electronic devices that can read plastic codes embedded with either a barcode magnetic strip computer chips or another storage mediums i told you about the sd card it's a small chip like uh, structure and it's very small and the card reader i told you about it that you put insert a card reader uh, where you place the usb in your computer system so you can easily just put that uh, card reader or place that card reader into the usb port of the computer and after that you can put your sd card into the card reader and it will just shows you the information on the computer screen a memory card reader is a device used for communication with a smart card or a memory card a magnetic card reader is a device used and used to read magnetic strip cards such as credit cards a business card reader is a device used to scan an electronically safe printed business cards now the output devices moving on to the output devices and output is a data means that in the starting we are discussing about the input devices i recall your mind again one more time about the input devices and after that we will switch to the output devices so first of all i will tell you about the barcode reader let's recall your mind we are talking about the barcode reader barcode reader is uh, commonly 
uh, use in the supermarkets on the stores in the super stores as well for the selling purpose means that the uh, codes which are printed on the sticker which is present on that uh, cloth uh, wrapping or on any of the wrapper of uh, or any of the packet of the biscuits you can purchase easily from the supermarket so they they have if you observe that on the counters they are having these type of uh, barcode readers and they just uh, put that you uh, put that pack in front of it and it will blink the light so the light of beams it will they will reflect into the barcode reader and it will collect all the information all the information in which type of information the information means that the price of that particular thing on the computer screen so next time if you if you will go to the supermarket or super store with your mom or dad so you have to observe these type of barcode readers in that uh, supermarket or super store now then we discuss about the magnetic ink character recognition uh, recognition you can easily observe that magnetic ink character recognition device in the banks whenever you go with your mom and dad uh, at the bank so you can observe these type of devices are putting uh, on the their counters and they are using these type of uh, magnetic ink character recognition machines to recognize the check i show you this picture of uh, check and on this check these codes are different these code are different but this code is a micr code means that this type of code is only read by the help of magnetic ink character recognition okay one more interesting point about the micr the micr includes from left to right a nine character routine means that left to right there is a nine character routine a 12 character account number and a four character check number means that 12 characters are over all over there and they they uh, and the micr is composed of nine characters okay now then we will discuss about the optical character recognition this is the opti picture of optical character recognition this is also similar like a barcode reader but there is a different between them it is used to check uh, check the different type of codes written on the paper okay optical mark reader optical mark reader this is the picture of optical mark reader as you know optical mark readers are used in the universities nowadays it is very common in the universities to check the check the mcqs or different type of uh, objective papers as well but for the mcqs most of the time it will used to check these type of papers okay now this is the card reader it is called also called a input device i told you about a card reader means that whenever you have uh, any type of uh, memory card or memory chip and if you want that memory chip to read what uh, is the data is present into it so you can easily take a memory card reader and you can put that memory card into that card reader and you can attach it with the computer system Uh, uh from the usb port and then it will shows you all the information which are present on that sd card now moving on to the output devices an output is a data this is a common topic you have cause you all know about output devices those devices which give the result of your instruction so these are called a output devices but there is a description according to your class level an output is a data that a computer sends computer only work with digital information digital information digital information means that in the uh, uh, form of electronic signals any input uh, any input that a computer received must be digitized often data has to be converted back to an analog format when it's output for example the sound from a sp uh, computer speaker means that i give you the exa this example as well in the as a input device and the output device as well whenever you are giving the instruction with the help of a mic so it will goes into the inside the computer and after that you will attach the speakers you have so it will give you the result of uh, your audio which you converted in the form of input okay now this is the first 
example sorry this is the first uh, example uh, we have the output device this is the liquid crystal display lcds nowadays lcds are very common uh, observe this picture very carefully there is a labeling also present into this picture and if you observe that the, these type of lcds are present at your homes you can also observe the lcds in your computer lab as well okay now observe this picture very carefully observe this picture very carefully this is the electrodes this is a liquid crystal display the color filters then the polarizing filters and the display surface and the polarizing filter as well these are the electrodes and the light source this type of liquid crystal display sometimes i will give you the examples if you observe that leds if you press your finger on that led so it will gives you the rainbow like colors means that the different type of colors are visible on that screen so it's having the liquid crystal display means that it's not liquid there is no water into it or this type of substance into it but the crystal display which will present on the screen a liquid crystal display lcd is a flat panel display flat panel display means it's very simply flat if you have an example or a comparison between a tv and a lcd so those who those who are having a old version of tv at their home so if you observe their screen their screen is curved in shape but if you observe the leds or lcds so the lcds are a flat surface display or other electronically modulated optical devices that use the light modulating properties of liquid crystal combining with polarizers polarizers theek hai now liquid crystal do not emit light directly instead using a black light or reflector to produce image or in color or monochrome lcds are available to display arbitrary image as in a general purpose computer display or fixed images with low information content which can be displayed or hidden for intense present word digit and seven segment display as in a digital clock are all good examples of devices with these display means that if you observe that the previous time tv that the common tvs which are maybe in your homes as well and their screen is like like curve like structure um, curved like structure so these are the monochrome tvs monochrome tvs mono means one and they are only possible with the help of simple light beam and they will just display the screen but in the lcds they are the general uh, they are the display arbitrary images means that with the help of different type of colors or different type of shades or different type of uh, color beams it will shows you the display which is very much different in the comparison of tv and lcd if you want to take a example of a lcd so you can observe this type of lcd in the digital clock it is a very good example of this device of the digital display or the crystal display as well okay now now moving on to the next one this is the braille printer and the braille printer is a imposer braille printer as you know printers are the output devices all the printers are the output devices and the one type of printer is a braille printer what is the braille printer braille embosser is a device that can generate printed material using the braille written system for blind or visually impaired users these press dots do on down on a piece of paper to let a person using the braille system read by using their fingers if you know about the blind persons that they are using the braille language braille language which type of braille language uh, they are not having a sense to see anything 
they don't have a sense of uh, visualizing anything so what they will do they just read something with the help of braille language and what is the braille language there is a simple paper simple blank paper on that blank paper there are some small dots which are embossed okay these type of simple dots which are embossed on that paper and they will feel or feel the texture of that embossed dots and they will easily understand what will be written or what will be the information which are in the form of braille language or braille embosser language so this is the helpful way for the blind persons to read anything with the help of that uh, that braille language they are a form of assistive technology a braille embosser is known as a braille printer means that by the help of uh, braille embosser we can write the braille embosser language on that papers or print that type of language through for the persons who want to read these braille language and mostly the braille language or the braille embosser codes are useful for the blind persons cause they are not able to visualize anything a braille embosser is a device that connects to a computer to produce printed material in the braille writing system i told you about the braille writing system a small dots which are embossed on the paper Braille embossers are a form of assistive technology because they printed documents for blind or visual impaired persons. Visual impaired persons means those persons who have not a sensibility of visualizing. Okay, now the concept is similar to a laser or inject. Okay, the concept is similar to a laser or an inject printer, but a braille embosser works by embedded raised dots onto a piece of paper rather than using a uh, using ink or toner. Means that whenever we are using a printer, so it will only just uh, print that uh, uh, particular information on the paper with the help of ink or toners. But if we talk about the braille embossers or um, uh, braille embosser work by the help of embedded raised dots. Embedded raised dot means that it will emboss that dots on the piece of paper. Okay, now moving on to the last topic. These are the plotters. Plotters produce vector graphics drawings. Plotters draw a line on paper using a pen or in some application use a knife to cut a material like vinyl or leather. In the vinyl means the plastic. In the in the later case, they are sometimes known as a cutting plotter. In the past, plotters were used in applications such as computer-aided design as they were able to produce line drawing much faster and of a higher quality than contemporary, uh, contemporary conventional printers. Similar desktop plotters were often used for business graphics. Digitally controlled plotters evolved from earlier fully analog XY writers used as computer device for measurement, measurement instruments and analog, compute, analog computers. Okay, a plotter produces vector graphics. Vector graphics, so we have the rector, rector graphics and vector graphics both we have, but the plotter produces only the vector graphics. Plotter draw a line on paper using a pen or in some applications such as a knife. The knife is not used for the only for the uh, written purpose. It is used for the cutting purpose as well. Means that uh, it uh, when we are not putting the paper into a plotter, so we are just if you are put, putting a small plus smaller plus sorry, thin plastic sheets, vinyl sheets, we are also saying that vinyl sheets or the plastic sheets vinyl means the plastic or the leather sheets if we are putting into it so it will cut it very easily from with the help of that plotter okay in the past plotters were used in the application such as computer aided designs means that for the uh, designing of something so but not a very um, critical designing a basic designing is used with the help of these type of plotters okay now 
let's move on to the topic again with the output devices or we will recall our mind so i will told you about the output devices those devices which are used to show the result of our information which are giving to the computer so these are called the output devices okay the first topic is a liquid crystal display these are the lcds lcds are commonly used at our homes uh and i think so most of you are just uh, um, understanding the comparison between the tv and the lcd the lcd screen is flat and uh liquid crystal display lcd having the flat screen okay this this is the braille printer braille printer i told you about the braille la, la, written uh, language system braille language is used for the blind persons and they are impaired user they are the visually impaired users means that they don't have the sensibility to visualize anything so they will use that embossed dots which are present on the paper and these embossed dots are formed with the help of braille printer now uh the last topic this is the plotter plotter is used to make the vector drawings on the paper or plastic sheets or on the leather sheets as well now this is your home task uh take a screenshot of your home task quickly and uh, you have to do all the work in your fair copy of your subject computer subject and this is the remaining work means that this is the remaining work of your computer chapter number 1 i will give you the instruction again that this is the chapter number 1 okay i'll write it over there chapter number 1 computer computer system so this is the chapter number 1 computer system remaining work and these are the remaining topics of your first chapter computer uh, computer chapter computer system and the chapter number 1 uh, if you remember that in the previous chapter number 1 i will told you about the categories of computer according to size and now i am telling you the okay i'll show you the home task screen again okay let me show you the home task screen again this is the home task screen observe and take a screenshot of it quickly